Hey there Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising. It's time to have a look and see what is going on when it comes to your weekly tarot for the week starting January 21st, 2024. And just a quick reminder for you, you've got some weekly astrology you might want to be checking out as well, and that's up on my main channel page already. And I've also got a sale still happening all month long on New Year's resolution readings. So if you've got any big plans or goals you want to accomplish this year, might want to hit me up at my website, integrativemysticism.com. So let's get down to business, charge up these cards, shuffle them, and see what is going on when it comes to your week. One moment. Okay. So we're going to be looking at money and work and your personal well-being, irrespective of others, as well as your home life, love, and your social life, community, and final thoughts for the week. Okay. So when it comes to money this week, you've got the five of pentacles upright. And so there may be something that comes up that makes you feel a bit tapped out. The five of pentacles can indicate an unexpected expense, or you may be finding out about something not being as maybe lucrative or as promising financially as we originally thought. Sometimes the Five of Pentacles can show up where we need to be ready to turn away from a disappointment or to accept some kind of alternative to a path or a financial plan that we have. Now, the good news is, is with the uh, Five of Pentacles is we already have an alternative that is showing up this week. Uh, but we need to be okay, be humble enough to accept it. Sometimes this can show up with a financial situation where we really wanted a certain, you know, maybe outcome to come a certain way. And it's just not happening by that road or with those people or with that arrangement. So be prepared. Again, there might be some difficult news that comes there, but there is a way out and a way away from it. When it comes to your work life in your career, you've got the Page of Wands reversed. And there could be some headaches coming up this week where there may be a flake out going on. This could be somebody dropping the ball. This could be somebody not following up on their own due diligence. This could be maybe even people flaking off important responsibilities or assignments. A lot of the times the Page of Wands reversed, we can also see a plan potentially not working out or stopping short. And when it comes to this card, we also need to be ready to just kind of go, okay, this might be indicative of us needing to re realize that the person or maybe the route we were taking is just not the right route. We might have to be ready to go over people's heads, swap people out, or even take our own opportunity to bail when this card shows up. Maybe, maybe this has to do with an important conversation, or we have to get in and start, you know, throwing our weight around a bit more. But yeah, just be prepared. That's going to, that's, that might kind of give you a bit of a, you know, bit of a bad mood <laughs> over the course of the week. When it comes to your personal well-being as well as your path irrespective of other people, you've got the Page of Cups reversed. 
And so this card is all about unwanted attention or maybe bad attention, things that are coming to us, trying to maybe express a certain kind of affection, encouragement, or just come to us that, you know, it's either coming in a way that we don't like it, it's coming from places we don't want it, or it, however it's going to show. A lot of the times with the Page of Cups reversed, we are getting put on call to be a bit more clear, but also, yes, a bit more firm with what our standards are. Because with the Page of Cups reversed, I've seen this card show up for people who are getting praised and incentivized to do things or keep doing things they don't want to do anymore. You know, this can happen at work. This can happen in family. I've seen this card show up where people are getting romantic attention from people they don't want to get it from. I've seen this coming from partners that people actually do care about, but, you know, and they love, but it's the wrong kind of love language. And so this is going to be a week where we need to be a lot more upfront as as well. If we've been sort of a bit patient, hanging back, waiting for people to pick up on cues and signals, it's not going to work. When it comes to your home life, home and family, living situation, home economy, you've got the King of Pentacles reversed. And the King of Pentacles reversed is indicating that this week you may have to confront uh, a situation where somebody is attempting to control or to dominate or oppress a family situation, your home, again, or maybe a home or home economy circumstance. A lot of the times with the King of Pentacles reversed, this can come in the form of both somebody trying to incentivize, buy, or bribe, but also strong arm or or do some kind of end run at the same time. The King of Pentacles reversed is a control freak. The King of Pentacles reversed is extremely domineering in that way. And so you want to make sure that you are not letting yourself get bullied, letting yourself get pushed around. There could also be something going up uh, around a certain home economy or financial matter or maybe a relative that could be acting up in a way that's very disruptive this week. When it comes to your relationships with love, romance, and partnerships, you've got the Knight of Wands upright. Love and romance is very, very fun this week. The Knight of Wands is all about getting a chance to go a little bit wild, especially when we want to maybe let our hair down, go on some kind of adventure, or maybe even speed up some kind of plan or path that we have set out on with a partner or a love interest. The Knight of Wands Upright can also show up where you might find that you are the one getting kind of uh, the chance to sit in the passenger seat this week. A partner or a love interest may be taking a lot of the initiative and being a lot more careful about kind of taking care of all the loose ends when it comes to a lot of things that you normally share the responsibilities for or things that you normally do. But with the Knight of Wands, we're getting a lot more excitement, we're getting a lot more fun, a little bit more thrills, a little bit more chills. And also, again, I think love is going to be where, where a lot of the good stuff is this week. When it comes to your social life and your community, you've got the Page of Pentacles upright. And so this week, there may be some kind of gift or important seed getting planted from a friend or a you know, member of your community or a relative that you're on good terms with. A lot of the times with the Page of Pentacles upright, we see something that is getting ready to get down to business after a little bit more planning. This could be some kind of hookup, whether it's financial or maybe it's something social. But with the Page of Pentacles, this is something that's going to profit you a lot if you do decide to make some time for it and get engaged. And finally, we've got for your final thoughts for the week, the Fool card reversed. The Fool card reversed is all about resistance to new beginnings, and we need to be mindful of where is it maybe some of the things that are causing us problems this week are coming from us tolerating familiar bad influences or familiar unhappy circumstances in favor or giving them favor as opposed to starting new roads, starting new projects, right? The Fool card reverse can be a hesitance to turn over a new leaf. Maybe we're trying to, we keep trying to polish the same things that we can't polish, work with the people that we can't work with anymore. And, you know, the Fool card reverse is saying this week is going to be kind of negatively incentivizing you to start turning over that new leaf where you need it in whatever situations come up. 
So that is what I've got for you all. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And should you ever wish to get a session with me, you can go on ahead to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com. Mm-hmm.